To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline along with some text that I'd like to track above this lady's head. Let's begin by positioning the playhead to where you want to start tracking your object or person. Then use the blade tool to cut your video at that position. Now move the playhead to where you want to stop tracking your object and make a cut at that position. Alright, and I'm just going to move my text clip over the top of my cutout clip and drag its end so that it matches its duration. Then move the playhead to the start of your cutout clip. Drag your text in the frame to position it to where you want it to follow your object from, I want mine above her head. Next, right click your text clip and select New Compound Clip. Give it a name if you'd like, and then hit Create. Okay, we're done in here for now, so let's go over to the Color tab. Up here, make sure you have Clips selected so that you can see all your timeline clips. And I'm going to select the second one since that's the one I cut out on my timeline. Then go over here and select the Tracker. Change the tracker panel from Window to Stabilizer. Then click these three little dots and select Classic Stabilizer. Okay, now make sure your playhead is at the start of your video clip. Now let's click this drop down and select Point Tracker. Click on the pointer button in the left corner to add a tracking point to your video. Drag the tracking point over the object you'd like to track. Now simply press the Track Forward button to track your object. Okay, this tracked my object alright, but when she turns to face the camera, it loses track of the point. To fix this, I'll just move the playhead to where she turns, and then reposition the tracking point over the center of her face. Now just hit the track forward button again to track her face from this point on in the video. Alright, and now when I play this back, it tracks the side of her face, and then jumps to the front of her face when she turns. Next, let's click these three dots again, and select Copy Track Data. Then select the compound clip which has your text in it. Make sure you're in the Stabilizer panel, then click the three dots again and select Classic Stabilizer. Click the three dots once more and select Paste Track Data. Uncheck the Zoom checkbox, otherwise your results won't look right. And be sure to change the strong value to negative 100 or it won't track your text properly. Finally, click Stabilize to have your text track your object. Okay, and now when I play this back, my text tracks the woman as she moves in the frame. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.